nothing approach from the young Kiwi. And the only thing you can do is give him a serve. He'll bump him here. He'll bump him, run him wide. He can't do it. Wincup's going to hold on. Wincup has fought off an extraordinary battle, and he takes victory in a race to remember. He drives shallow into 14. Frosty's looking for the fast exit. If he gets a better exit, it might be on. Watch this. It'll be very close at the line. Lowndes is going to hold You're unreal. Off. Fantastic job. He holds off. Humpty has been yeah, waiting so long. After more than a decade of trying, Mark Winterbottom will win the Super G Porto Bathurst 1000 with Stephen Richards. Only seven drivers have won four or more Bathurst Championships. Today, Jamie Wincup joins the greats. He gets his fourth. Wow. Paul Dungrell gets his first. And David Reynolds on the podium. A whisker away. They've been racing for six hours and 19 minutes. He's got a block. Here comes Gizzy. There's nothing in it. Will Davison might get this done. He's done it. Will Davison is going to win the 2006 yes! race. Continues. Tim Slade doing everything he can to survive. And he's got Frosty jamming it into him in the last corner. He can't bump and run. That might cause some tears. He's trying to get up the inside. It'll be neck and neck. Slade to the right. Frosty to the left. And Frosty grabs him at the line. Frosty grabs him at the line. Great enough to hold off Lee Holdsworth. Only just. Oh, it's not over yet. Done with yet. I reckon Holdsworth. Yep. Oh, he's out of fuel and holds with Johnson, Steve Owen. Rick's in 12. Oh. Stevie Johnson's going to fight him all the way up to the line. Who'll get there first? Kelly, I reckon. No, Johnson, Johnson got it. Oh. So it's probably a good decision not to throw it down in there. It was traction off here that was strong last time round for Paul. What's he like this time through? Good, clean exit again. He'll have a little bit on. Great work, mate. Great work, great drive. But not quite enough. What a fantastic race. An unbelievable young operator, Crumbo. So final turn now. Car number two, Garth Tander. Bathurst champion of years gone by. Oh, he's in trouble. He's run out of fuel. He's run out of fuel. You kill him. I'm setting up. Setting up to talk about Tander. Third to Ford performance racing, and it's going to go down to the wire. Whoa, Garth Tander gets ahead of Shane Van Gisbergen. Uh, good to there, mate. It was really hard work. But... Trying to hang on in third, tries to crisscross at the final corner. Richards will win it. It's his second win of the year. First of all, Barbagello. Now the Perkins car wins it here at Oran Park. Murphy tries to drag Ray Single. Can't get there. And look at this. Got him. He got him. Hand rose over Rick Kelly at the final turn. And somehow... Fuel is a major issue. If he makes it to the finish line, he'll be hard-pressed to do a victory lap. Do it. He's going to do it. He is going to do it. What a fight back this has been. What a run to the finish. He's done it on the smell of an oily rag, and James Courtney gets his first victory for the Holden Racing Team. Quite a substantial gap back to third. Winterbottom over Lowndes, over Tander. And a good run here. Look at Wincup. Wincup's right alongside, and he's got him. Here will get Russell Ingle on the line. Jamie Wincup does it. How about that? Squeezes Ingle for nine. Big Biffo slides through the S's. Van Gisbergen has done a mighty job, and it is not done. He runs the hole off the Falcon. Off the final corner. And Mark Winterbottom survives one of the great races. Well done. Since a rookie claimed victory at Mount Panorama in a legendary finish, this is the year of the rookie of the pro. Tando and Nick Perkin. Sure, right? And what a finish it'll be. Mark Scaife and Craig Lowndes came here individually as Bathurst legends. This victory will make them Bathurst immortals. It's a 1 2 for Team Vodafone. Tander third.